everyone and welcome back to my channel or just welcome if you are new. My name is The Clumsy Simmer and today we are back in Newcrest doing another suburban home. So this suburban home however is different from the last one that I did. Um, this one is not blue and it is not for three different generations <laughs> and the the layout of it is different, the yard is different, so it is another suburban home, but it does have a lot of new features compared to the last one that I posted a couple of days ago. And actually, I'm really happy with the way this one turned out. Um, I ended up doing a mixture of brick and paneling on this house, but I didn't just do brick completely on the bottom like I usually do. Right now, you see it completely on the bottom, but that does change. I keep that green, like, that's not really paneling, I guess, that's more, I don't know what kind of texture you'd call that, but like that, um, I don't know, just that green texture right there. This is how I keep the color scheme on the outside, and I am, actually, those colors together look really good. And I usually do black roofs, and I'm bad about always doing a black roof because I don't know why that's just my go-to. It's just, it doesn't matter what colors you pair with that black roof. It's, it's going to look good, whether it's green, blue, yellow, pink, or whatever it may be. The black always looks good. But my second go-to would be this like brown scalloped textured roof. That one looks pretty good, especially with like green. And... I wanted to use these growing together windows because they have that brown like color inside of the window like the outer edge of the window is white and then on the inside each swatch has a different color and I haven't made use of the brown colors yet and so I really wanted to make sure that I used the lighter color on this build because I thought it matched the roof so good and so I put it on there and it ended up looking really good. I almost used a darker brown color, but then I switched it to the lighter brown color because it matched the roof better, I thought. And uh, yeah, so we are working on the backyard for a minute right now. I just wanted to get the back look of the exterior done before I did like the landscaping and the floor plan on the inside and I decided to I did that faux garage again on the outside but I did it a little bit differently this time I actually put a back door out of you know the main part of the house but as well as that garage and that garage actually turns into the parents room and you'll see that later in the build um, but right now I'm just trying to figure out exactly how I want to you know design the backyard so to speak I, I really wanted to do something different and this backyard I wanted to make sure I used the like that tree house thing for uh, with the growing together pack I don't get to use that in builds very often unless I plan ahead and so since I was planning ahead on this one I wanted to make sure I got use out of that tree house tree set and I love using that for gameplay purposes and right now the tree set or the tree house is not actually built on the tree but later in the build I do have a sim come here and I I have I don't have the sim build it but I use the cheat the cheat to build it and I'm not sure if that's a cheat that actually comes with the game or if that's part of the either UI cheats extension or the all cheats from Texi Mexi. I'm not sure if it's part of those mods or not because I do have those installed. But I was able to like shift click it and auto build it. And it turned out super cute. And I actually didn't realize that you can put lights on the tree house. That was something that I did not know was possible until I actually did the cheat. I guess I just never had my sim a high enough handiness skill to be able to have them put the lights on the tree for some reason. Why? I mean, that doesn't really make sense if that is the case. Why do you need a high handiness skill to put lights 
on a treehouse. I mean, I feel like that's kind of something anybody could do. But uh, yeah, I am getting the landscaping kind of done. For the most part, it really doesn't change too much from this point on. Um, I did, I wanted to outline the driveway with these bushes and that's something that I always want to do but I can never make it look good and so I was able to do it here and then the front grassy section I hate leaving that blank sometimes I leave it blank but I do hate leaving it blank if I don't have to so I decided to put some of those purple flowers down and by the way these purple flowers with that brown roof does that not look super pretty? I mean, those colors just go so well together. The brown and the purple for some reason. I just think that they look really good together. And I wanted to do, I figured the family living here are really big cat people. So I wanted to use the cat mailbox because for one, I never get to use it. And for two, I don't know, I just never get to use it. I guess that's the only reason. So um, I wanted to make use of it now. And I also like to try to make the mailbox area not so bland. Sometimes it is bland, don't get me wrong. But I wanted to put a tree and some flowers out there by the tree if I could. And so that is what I, and I thought it turned out really pretty. Kind of, you know, not everyone's mailbox in real life is decorated like that, but a lot of like nicer big homes like this, if this was in real life, I feel like the mailbox typically is decorated with like plants or a planter box or something like that. I wish you could put plants directly around the mailbox and your Sims would still be able to use it, but they always have a hard time and then like the mailman comes and you know, they'll be like, oh, I couldn't reach the mailbox, so I just threw your mail in there. And so that notification coming every day really gets on my nerves. So I don't put anything by the mailbox if I don't necessarily have to. Well, you never have to. But I don't know. Sometimes it's just so blank out there. I feel like I have to. And this was one of those cases. And so I did put some flowers and some trees. Sometimes if I'm in the mood to go and shh, kind of look through debug then you could put the debug by the mailbox most likely and it not cause an issue because the debug if I'm not mistaken your sims still walk through debug um, so yeah that is an option I'll have to keep that in mind for a future build but uh, yeah, anyways, we are on the interior now and I am getting the kitchen all put together. I am really happy with the way this kitchen turned out. I thought it turned out really cute and quite different from how I normally do kitchens. I do use this uh, Parenthood cabinet set quite often and I actually paired it with that corner piece was from For, Win For Rent and the colors looked really good together they pretty much matched completely so i figured eh instead of using that boring parenthood corner cabinet i might as well use that for a rent one because i thought it's so cute and later in the build i actually shift around that semi-circle counter piece because your sim can't get into the fridge but i do fix that and the way I had to fix it was moving the chairs inward so they're not really your sims not going to really be able to sit there and eat at the counter it's more for like looks <laughs> so if you download this off the gallery then you can totally just delete that if it's there and you don't like it because it's not usable but I thought it looked really cute and it kind of filled up that open space in the middle and um, this area right here ends up being the dining room right there in the front and this area ends up being the living room and I add a fireplace and so actually since I add the fireplace inside I like to make a chimney outside if the fireplace is inside so that is what I'm doing here I just go ahead and fit the chimney out there really quick and add like the fireplace chimney so that the smoke exits out of there. I love, you know, 
the realisticness of that. If I have a fireplace inside, I have to put a chimney outside. Very rarely will I not put a chimney outside. The last build that I did, I did not put a chimney outside after I put a fireplace inside because the exterior was already completely built and there is no place good enough in my opinion to put the chimney it just didn't look right wherever i was trying to put it so i just didn't put a chimney and it really bothered me the whole time i was building for some reason it bothered me so much <laughs> probably more than it really should have but uh yeah so we are getting the living room put together i this house on the gallery its name is big happy family suburban most likely is what I'm gonna name it and so with that being said I love if a big family lives in a house I don't always do this but I do like to try to make the inside super lived in like a bunch of kids do live there and the upstairs bedrooms are decorated for a teen uh, boy two twin children girls is what I decorated the room for and then a toddler little boy I mean little girl could go in that room too it, it's it's decorated with dinosaurs so I mean really either gender could go in that room but I thought it was for a boy so this family has two boys two girls and so since there is two children and a toddler living here I figured a toy box in the living room was probably a, a really good idea and I love that little card set that I just put out um, I don't I think that's from seasons and it has a bunch of different types of seasonal cards and like birthday cards Valentine's Day anniversary Christmas spring whatever it may be there's a bunch of different swatches for those cards and so I love using those cards in my builds I think it adds such a realistic touch and you know fills up like a clutter space and I just think they they're they're super cute and in that little entryway or back entryway to the backyard I put in a computer desk and that area does work by the way this is a play tested build and it all works good it all is functional and I decided to put a little coat rack and the broom and dustpan set with some little shoes like those are the outside shoes or whatever and just a little decoration for that space and the desk that I put out there I made sure to put a bunch of little clutter pieces I also put like a water bottle there I thought that was a nice touch and we are over into the dining room now and I love to use the circle tables if I can um, Something about the circle tables in The Sims just speaks to me for some reason, especially in like a perfectly square room, like that one is perfectly square. The circle tables just fit so well. And the backspace was kind of bland. And so I wanted to size down the big like kitchen hutch, I think is what those are called. And that is from Cats and Dogs. And I sized it down and I ended up putting um, a piece of decor right there in that blank space on there usually you can just set it right there if it's not sized down but that's such a big bulky hutch that I had to size it down so I ended up having to just pull out the clutter piece and it's like that cute little owl set right here I thought it fit because it's like a little cute owl family and it looked really cute there so I kept it and I just used the bracket keys to raise it up and it raised it up perfectly actually. Most clutter pieces, if you size down that cats and dogs hutch and you lift clutter pieces up, it typically does fit there perfectly. But um, we are pretty much, we pretty much got the dining room all done. I wanted to put something else in that corner right there, but there was nothing really that I, I found that would fit there and make sense there. I didn't really want to do another plant there because I got two on the other side of the dining room. And I didn't want to do another corner piece. That corner desk shelf piece is also from Cats and Dogs and I didn't want to have to use that 
again on the other side. I thought that was going to be too like samey. And so I just put a picture there and called it a day. And then I'm over into like the front door entryway. And there is a little cat that lives in this house. So I wanted to make sure I put a little food bowl out there for him or her. And just some few little clutter pieces there. I have no idea what that set is that has like the tablet and stuff. I don't know what that is. I just figured that's some sort of tablet or something that one of the parents need for for their job. And so they just put it there when they get home or right before they leave, they take it. And that's kind of what I thought. And then I put also like a shelf with the keys and like the little like jar where you could put the change in I thought I love that that's from one of the kids and it's it has a really realistic touch I feel like a lot of people have change jars in their house that is something that I have but I don't have it just out like that it's in one of my like kitchen cabinets on the bottom like one of the blank ones that I don't have anything in I just have like a big bucket that I put my change in and uh, one day I'll probably cash that and hopefully I get some you know, a big amount of money out of it for saving my corners, quarters for so many years. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyways, we finished the main bathroom and now we are working on the master bathroom. This master bedroom, in my mind, was actually renovated into a bedroom. They took out the garage on the inside and they decided to renovate it into the master bedroom because they had another kid and they just ran out of room. <laughs> there, there's already two children that's sharing a room and they couldn't put, you know, the teenager into a room with a baby that wouldn't go very well. I could just imagine the teenager just hating that and just telling their parents how unhappy they are ha every day and what a headache it would be for the parents. So instead of dealing with all that, they're like, you know what? We don't use the garage anyways. So let's just go ahead and renovate it into a bedroom and give them a nice master bathroom. It has a big garden tub with a shower and like a little step down area and a toilet and sink obviously and actually that bathroom turned out pretty pretty interesting and kind of cute I've never done a bathroom just I've never done a bathroom like that at all in my life so it was new for me and I thought it turned out really good and now we are just onto the parents bedroom and you can see their door that door leads straight out to the backyard and I love that touch and that door from growing together is one of my favorite doors. And also that like bigger door from growing together, the doors and windows from growing, growing together. I was so happy when I seen those came with the pack because it does give a realistic look, which obviously is something that I like. Cause I, all the builds that I do, I talk about the realisticness of the build. And yes, I don't think that realisticness is a word, but I just invented it, so uh, yeah. Anyways, this bedroom just seemed so like big and bland and I did not know really how to fill it up. So I decided to do, I put like a little like chair in front of the bed and that chair is actually from my wedding stories, but the colors fit perfectly. So I decided to use that like love seat chair in front of the bed. And then I put uh, that smaller chairs from the for rent expansion pack along with like the bedroom set and dresser and stuff. All that's from the for rent. And that is pretty much it for the parents bedroom and pretty much the whole downstairs I believe is done now. We are working on the upstairs bedroom and bathrooms. There are three bedrooms upstairs and two bathrooms. This bathroom right here is actually for the teen boy. I was thinking before the downstairs bedroom was renovated into the bedroom, it was the garage. So this was the old master bedroom. And so I figured this was gonna have a pretty nice bathroom too. And so I put a garden bathtub in here as well. 
and I really wanted to decorate this bathroom like a teen boy would be in here and I think I achieved that actually it actually turned out really good and that mirror is from high school years I believe and it has some like little sports stickers on there and I thought that was cute and then I also pull out um like a a wall decor piece and it's like that basketball hoop with the basketball I can't I think it's from parenthood pack and I actually put it on this wall right here where I just put the plant it was like really blank and I needed something and so I pulled out that basketball hoop thing and since I decorated this for the teen boy and it obviously seems like he's into sports because that mirror has sports stickers and then right here I put that basketball hoop um, so I actually later in the build at some point I end up pulling out a basketball hoop and putting it out into the driveway and then I just removed that car um, I like to have the cars in the builds when I have a driveway because it adds something in that driveway space and it's realistic and it just looks like our our sims actually use cars um, but since the boy is obviously into basketball, I went ahead and put a basketball hoop outside in the driveway instead. And actually, I have not been able to use this particular bed swatch from high school years yet. I've been really wanting to find a good, good like opportunity to use it. And I thought this was the perfect opportunity. This teen boy is so into sports. He's got sports posters, sports trophies, medals, a signs, jersey from his favorite soccer team player or whatever the jersey's from. That looks like a soccer jersey to me. But he's just into sports completely. It doesn't matter if it's basketball, football, soccer. He's just a sports lover all around. And so... Uh, yeah, I think it turned out really good and really, uh, really fits a personality for that particular teen or Sam in that room. And actually, that's something that I like to do in the bedrooms for the adults as well as kids in all of my builds. I love to give them a little splash of personality. I try to do that in all of the, um, especially like the kids' rooms. And so we are working on the two teen girl rooms now and I decided to do a pink blue and yellow theme for the room and I thought it really turned out cute in the end right now I'm just trying to find a good swatch for the door I love to use though that high school gears door with the different swatches and I love that they put a regular version of door and then a version of door with the different swatches and decorations on the indoor and outdoor. I, I love that because obviously not every door in the house is going to have decoration pieces on there and it just adds a real realistic touch, you know? And so I'm just, you, I actually pulled out those lights. I can't remember what pack those are from. I think backyard stuff. Um, the pink and blue matched perfectly and I, I love using the, those lights in my children's bedrooms or teen bedrooms. Um, and then the colors came out, they were perfect so I thought it looked really good together and I almost used that dream home decorator like play thing. <laughs> I don't know what, what you call those, like the tent. Um, but it just took up a lot of space and I wanted to add some other skill items for the sims to use and so i decided to take that off and i replaced it with this uh backyard the backyard campers kit i believe came with that that dollhouse that's kind of decorated like the kid decorated that themselves with like blankets and lights and stuff i think it's super cute and it matched the room and so i decided to put that there instead and then I put a little activity table with this drawings right here on the wall. And pretty much these girls that live in that room are very creative. Very creative, very social. And that room I thought came out really cute. I put a lot of rugs in that room too. Probably a little bit too many rugs, but I, I don't know. They just, I put them out and the colors fit so well. 
so I wanted to keep it <laughs> and we are over into the toddler's room now I love that toddler bed from Eco Lifestyle I think to this day that is still the best toddler bed in the entire game I love like the canopy over the top of it they need to come out with more toddler beds like that and more like beds in general with the canopy pieces I love the canopy pieces over beds I want one like that in real life and I always have but I have not I just haven't those beds typically are expensive and I just haven't wanted to spend that much money on a canopy bed so I just have been living without one and um maybe one day I'll break down and just go ahead and pay the couple thousand bucks for a bed but I have I just haven't broke down to do that yet <laughs> but uh, we are done with the toddler's room and we are over into like the hallway now and actually that hallway and the, the door to the toddler's room ends up changing I end up putting a cat tree in the hallway instead and I just you know there's a cat in the house and the cat didn't have any play things whatsoever he, all he had was like a food dish <laughs> so that's kind of sad so I wanted to put a cat tree in there and also I think your cats use the cat tree to actually claw, claw their nails in the game right or do you have to have one of those little claw like the clawing things I'm not sure but that was also my my kind of train of thought was put a cat tree in there so that your cats aren't tearing up the the couch in the living room kind of like my cats do in real life they tear up the couch even if they have you know an, a thing to claw their nails they still choose the couch instead that's just how cats are they just want to be a pain in our butts you know so yeah <laughs> try to prevent that in the sims houses if i can but we are done with the exterior or interior other than the cat tree i don't think i've put that out yet we are out in the exterior now and I wanted to put a nice little grill area out here and I love that grill that came with um, the, I don't know, one of the kits. I don't know really the kits by name to be honest, um, but that grill is from one of the kits and I've always had such a hard time pairing counters with that grill. I wish it came with counters that matched that grill. The, the bottom part of the grill as well as the counter on top of the grill. There is just nothing that matches it. And so it, it irritates me so bad. But I ended up making it work with those counters from the... From, I don't, it's from one of the stuff packs. I think it's the Perfect Patio stuff. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where it's from. I, I ended up making it work with those counters. So, in the end, I think it turned out good. And this space right here, I had no idea what to put there. And actually, I just put a transition there because this is after I went to the Manage World and pulled a sim and brought the sim here to test out the build to see if it actually works like it should. Um, I had to change the kitchen around, like I said, and then the backyard. I ended up in the grass, since there's so many kids that live here, I ended up making the backyard the area, like a, a really good play area for the kids. So I did the tree house and then I pulled out the swing set and the monkey bars and then a toddler swing and I wanted to do some terrain paint out here to make it look like it's really really used by the kids I figured they spend a lot of their time here when they're not in school they're probably outside playing um, that is what I did growing up actually and that I don't see very many kids doing that really anymore <laughs> sad to say but I mean, there are some in my neighborhood that play outside, but it's not like how when I was growing up, that's all we had. We literally did not have anything inside but like some Barbie dolls. Everything outside, everything to play and have fun was outside. So that's what we did until the street lights came on. We had to be back and before the street lights came on, right? And um, 
yeah, so I figured there's plenty for the kids to do inside here in this build, but since the outside area looks so fun and there's a pool and everything and there's a toddler pool and it just looks like that's an area where the family spends a lot of their time. And I thought it, it turned out pretty good. And then I forgot about the litter box, so I stuck that outside, actually. I don't like to put it in any of my Sims, like, bedrooms. Because I, for one, would not want a litter box in my bedroom. That just does not sound good at all. <laughs> so, yeah, the litter box went outside. Typically, I'll put it in bathrooms in the Sims builds. I don't know, where do people typically put litter boxes? Because in real life, I have two cats and they are indoor cats, but I have a spare bedroom that nobody uses and that's like where I like have my workout equipment and stuff. And so that's just where I put the litter box. That's just the only room in the house that nobody really stays in for a long period of time. And so that's where the litter box goes. But um, yeah, so I realized Towards the end here, once I got the sim uh, to play test the house, I was like, oh, I totally forgot to decorate the kitchen. <laughs> and so uh, that this is what I'm doing really quick, just decorating the kitchen. And we are actually finishing the build up. And so I just want to say thank you to those that watch my channel. And if you enjoy it, please like, share, and subscribe. It will help me out a lot. And with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day or night. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Take me back to a place where I felt at home. Take me back to a day when we weren't alone. Take me back to an age when the world felt small. Way back before we blew it all. Take me back to a place where I felt at home. Take me back to a day when we weren't alone. Take me back to an age when the world felt small. Way back before we blew it all Too many things going on I can't keep track of them all From people dropping a bomb To people putting up walls I feel like life is on haul Perception stuck in a vault I know that time can heal all But how much time till we fall? It's awfully chilly outside When there's no shelter to hide When everything is a lie You'll find that out in some time But when the things on your mind Are all considered a crime Communication aside We'll all just fight till we die Is this an argument? Or just the start of it? Either way I I don't wanna be a part of it Can I just get some space? I don't have the heart for this I can't be picking up the pieces Fixing scars from this Is this an argument? Or just the start of it? I wanna drive away So I can be so far from it I wanna find a place Where no one breaks their promises Or maybe drown myself In something that is bottomless Take me back to a place Where I felt at home Take me back to a day When we weren't alone Take me back to an age When the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back Let's before go. we blew it all I know that things seem bad but they could be much worse There's always someone else who has a greater curse A greater thirst, a hunger, pain and mercy. Just find whatever you got and try to be thankful first I wanna feel again I need a couple friends I never really understood just how the story ends But I could feel it's tense Don't know the consequence The volatility of life, my only confidence Is this an argument? Or just the start of it? Either way, I don't wanna be a part of it Can I just get some space? I don't have the heart for this I can't be picking up the pieces Fixing scars from this Is this an argument? Or just the start of it? I wanna drive away so I can be so far from it I wanna find a place where no one breaks their promises Or maybe drown myself in something that is bottomless Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small